All right, class, so this is an Alex topic that is called writing the net equation for a sequence of reactions. And this is a topic that we're gonna be sort of utilizing a lot in terms of adding two different chemical reactions together. It's a pretty common thing to do in, in chemistry. We're not often gonna have a, you know, just one chemical reaction. There's gonna be a series of chemical reactions that will happen and we're gonna be interested in sort of what happens overall, right? So in this question here, we're asked to basically write the net chemical equation. Now this is not the net ionic chemical equation. We're just adding, we're looking for the, the net from both of these equations, and it's not the net ionic, so it's a sort of different concept here. And we would know that simply because we're, we're not seeing the word ionic, right? Um, so it's a little confusing there, but just make sure that we're, we're paying attention to what type of net equation we're looking for. So when I look at these two equations and I wanna add them together, the real key, the thing that you should be sort of looking out for, is some species that shows up on the product side in one reaction and the reactant side on the other reaction. So here I see C2H2 that is gonna be formed in the first step, and then we're gonna be using that, we're gonna be consuming that C2H2 in the second step. And I can see that this is a one mole ratio here and a six mole ratio here. So that's gonna be the key for sort of adding these together and figuring out the simplest way to show what's happening overall in this chemical reaction. So in this chemical reaction, we're gonna be taking the CaC2, reacting that with some water, forming C2H2 and calcium hydroxide. And then we're just gonna be taking that C2H2 and doing a second reaction. And so this is what we would call an intermediate. It gets produced, but then it also gets consumed. So it's an intermediate in this process. And in our final net chemical equation, we should not see our intermediates. Okay, so in order to cancel it out, what I am gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to have the same mole to mole ratio essentially for this C2H2. Hopefully you guys can see that that means I need to multiply this top reaction by six. If I multiply the top reaction by six, then I will have the same essentially moles of C2H2 that I have in my second step, and those will essentially cancel out. So I'm gonna be able to cancel out my intermediate when I write my net ionic equation. So when you're writing your net chemical equation, all you're gonna be doing is taking everything from the um, you know, reactant side, bringing it down, and then everything from the product side and bringing that down. Now we have to keep in mind, right, I need to, need to multiply everything by six. So the way that I would write this out, let's start with six CaC2 solid. So now I've got 12 water molecules here, but I've also got four from the second reaction. So I'm gonna add all those together and I'm gonna get 16 water molecules. Then I'm gonna have three CO2 molecules. So then I'm gonna have my little arrow, so then I'll write my products just below here. So then on my product side, I've got six CaOH2, so six calcium hydroxide molecules. And then I've got my other product, five CH2, CHCO2H. So it's sort of a strange way of writing that out. Remember, the reason it's written out like this is to remind us or sort of help us with the, the actual structure of this molecule, this acrylic acid. So this is it, that's it. That's the, the net chemical equation showing the reaction um, and we're not showing the intermediate in our net chemical equation. It's sort of the key uh, step for a problem like this. All right, hope that helps.